Social media of AI is buzzing with FindWeb. In this video, I am going to explain to you what exactly is FindWeb, FindWeb Edu, and what this fuss is all about. Let's get right into it. FindWeb is a method, a way, a data set created by Hugging Face at scale. And the data quality is supreme. In this paper, Hugging Face has shared find web recipe as how they have created it, how they went about it, how they scaled it, and then why they selected the design choices which they made and the whole process followed to create its find web adjut subset. So if you go to Hugging Face website, this is a find web data set and this is find web adjut data set which is a subset of this find web. Let's get back to this find web and look at it in more detail. One thing which is very clear from the last year's um, AI adventures of different companies is that the more uh, pre-processing you will do, the more quality data you will pick up for your data set, the more the performance will be of the large language models. Performance of a LLM does not really depend upon its size alone. It also depends upon the quality of the pre-trained data which LLM receives. But the problem is that all these data sets, even, uh, I mean, we know that we don't have a data set of GPT-4, GPT-4O, GPT but it might be a surprise for you that we don't even have the data of these open source models like Llama 3s and Mixtro. We really don't know what sort of data set these models were trained on. In fact, hardly we have any data set of these open source models. So yes, we all have been praising these companies like Mixtron and also Meta, Facebook, even Google that they have been releasing these open source models. They have been releasing the weights and stuff. But another secret source is data set. And they haven't released a data set because they know if they release a data set, then there will be a lot of competition there because data set creation takes a lot of effort and you will shortly see why I'm saying that. So this find web is a new large scale data set for LLM pre-training. Large scale mean that it has 15 trillion tokens and it takes 44 terabyte of disk space. Just let it sink and then think how big that data set is. FindWeb is derived from 96 common crawl snapshots and produces better performing LLMs than any other pre-training data set. And that has been shown in various benchmarks which, uh, which include Common Sense QA, Hella Swag, OpenBook QA, Pika, Sika, Vinogrande, Arc, MMLU. And these are different benchmarks for which check for reasoning, for logic, for code, for common sense, for ethics and lot of other stuff and I have done various videos going into the detail. Now to bring more clarity in machine learning and advanced open understanding of how to train good quality LLMs, Hugging Face has clearly and very carefully documented and ablated all of the design choices used in FindWeb including in-depth investigation of deduplication and filtering strategies. And this report contains all of it. So here is a good thing that if you are looking to create a massive mega or even smaller production data set, have a read through of this report and I will drop the link to it in video description and you won't be disappointed. Now, how did they find this data? Because that is something which everyone asks. Generating a synthetic data is one thing, but you have to find a good data when you are looking to generate a 15 trillion uh, token data set. So there are two methods normally. First is that you crawl the whole web, which like OpenAI has done, Anthropic has done, or you use a public repository of crawled web pages like Common Crawl, or you combine both of them to build find web. What they have done is, Hugging Face I mean, they have used Common Crawl or CC as a starting point. The Common Crawl non-profit organization has been crawling the web since 2007 and releases a new crawl containing 
200 to 400 uh, terabyte of textual content obtained via automatic web crawling every one to month. The latest common crawl is from April 2024, which contains 2.7 billion web pages and it has a lot of content uh, <clears throat> from 96 crawls which have been done before. So that is where they have uh, obtained their data. For processing this huge data set, they developed Datatro, which is an open source data processing library that allowed them to seamlessly scale their filtering and deduplication setup to thousands of CPU cores. Look at this diagram. This is the pipeline through which they proceeded with creating this whole data set. Step one was text extractions. As I said, they started with common crawl data in web archive format. Then they extracted the text content from uh, these web archive while using the uh, draw filter library. From there, they compared to using wet or work encapsulated text files which are provided by com common uh, crawl and then Trafilotora was found to provide better quality text extraction. In the step two, they did base filtering where they applied URL filtering to remove adult content. They used fast text language classifier to keep only English text with score which was greater than 0.65. Then they applied quality and repetition filters from massive text. After applying these filters, roughly 36 trillion tokens of data remained. And then they started the process of deduplicating where they removed redundant data to prevent duplication and they used independent min hash deduplication per pump and dump to identify removed duplicate content. Then they applied additional filters to match and surpass the performance of C4 dataset and they selected and applied some of the filters used in the C4 dataset including removing non-English data, applying heuristic filters on both the line and document level, deduplicating on the line level and removing documents containing words from a word block list. They also applied custom filters to further improve the quality of dataset and the result was a final fine web dataset which comprises of 15 trillion tokens and this is in front of you and you can use it today. How good is that? And it says that 15 trillion token of the finest data web has to offer. So another thing was this fine web edu. This is an additional development of fine web that um, Hugging Face is quite excited to introduce. Fine web edu is based on a new appro approach that has recently emerged for filtering LLM training data set using synthetic data to develop classifiers for identifying educational content. And this technique was notably used in the training of Llama 3 and Phi 3, but its large scale impact on web data filtering has not been publicly explored, but now we can do that. So all in all, I think amazing stuff there, amazing service to the community, because both of these data sets will ensure that we will have more and more quality LLMs very, very soon by the companies we don't even know. So if you're looking to build your own LLM, but you were handicapped due to the data set, now is your chance to compete head on with the companies like Meta, Mixtrol, and all of the rest of the lot. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.